Andre, what are you doing over there? Oh, down again. Down. Why? Over this bloody waste tank. So I thought I'd take all the waste tank today. But it's so hard that... It's been a nightmare, hasn't it, love? That's an understatement. Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, Saturday afternoon. I'm looking a bit more human again. Still need me hair cutting, but I've had a shave anyway. Um, been to B and Q this morning. Uh, spent most of yesterday playing around with this waste tank because I thought I need to tackle this waste tank. I keep putting it off and putting it off, but I've decided what I'm doing now. Anyway, I'll take you out of the van in a minute and show you. But what I've got at the moment is the um, tank inside here. So we'll just turn you around. <coughs> This is the 35 litre cat tank that, um, that I bought uh, and this is the one that actually fits behind the um, sliding door step. They assured me it would go behind there but before you go out and buy one of these it's not as easy as what you think. Um, I think the designed and built and the kit that comes with it is that um, plastic strapping stuff with holes in it. And I think what you're meant to do is fit the tank under the under the van and then fasten it in from the top, so inside the van. But I can't do that because I've um, already put the floor in and everything, so um, that was a no-no. So, being a bit of a difficult one this, um, with hindsight, I probably might have put the waste tank at the back end of the van somewhere. But anyway, I've persevered and, and I've managed to sort something out. So, this tank comes with, I think I've, I think I've gone through this in a previous video, but I'll just go through it again. Uh, turn it the right way up. Sorry about this, I've only got one hand because I've got, you, got hold of you in the other hand. There we go. So, tank comes like that and that was a 20mm um, inlet, which I think I said before, it, a bit of sweet coin had blocked that bloody thing up. Um, so, I've what I've done is I've bought one of these end stop, a 22mm end stop push fit. They're quite expensive, but I thought, do you know what, it'll do the job, and I, and I know it'll be sealed properly. So I've stuck some silicone in inside the um, inlet, and kind of blocked it up with silicone. And I've filled this full of silicone, and then I've run silicone around the outside, so I'll just wait for that to go off now, and that's that'll be absolutely fine. I'm going to connect the wires to this as well, and silicone over these. Because obviously they're going to get a lot of um, weather on them being under the van. Don't know why they're not sealed to start with. Bit of a thing. That's the that's the outlet. Which yeah, even that's not bloody big enough really. But um, it'll do for now. Uh, on the other side, what I've done because I've blocked that up, I've I've drilled a forty mil hole in here, and I've bought. Um, this thing, floor plast. So it's threaded on the inside. Um, and there's a, where the other part of it is, must be outside. And you, you screw into it with a seal and everything. It's, it's outside, I'll, I'll show you what that is in a minute. And then I'm gonna seal around, uh, around here with it, with, uh, with silicone. So that's a better inlet for waste water in my opinion. Um, Especially with Barbara Moulton, like she does. Although we'll put it, put in um, tap strain things in the in the bottom of the shower and the in the sink. But uh, yeah, it's uh, that is ridiculous. That that in the twenty mil, um, it's just not, not suitable in my opinion. So this is much better. It's twenty mil this standard um, sink waste size. It's only, it's only a small tank, 35 litres, um, but it's half the size of our um, freshwater tank. 
And to be fair, I mean, you can dump this over a grate, can't you? Do you know what I mean? It's not, doesn't matter if it fills up quick. You can always dump it. Um, obviously, you dump it in the right place. You know, it's just going to let it go in the middle of the road or something. But uh, my intention is to put a electronic ball valve on there that I can operate from inside the van. So I can just park over a grate, push a button, empties, closes up again, off we pop. So, yeah, now, I'll turn it over, just put it down a sec. Right, so I want to put uh, an inspection cover on this. Um, because it's only, I think it's only 15 centimetres wide. Correct me if I'm wrong, it might be 17. So I'll just measure it anyway. Not a wide tank at all. There you go. It's just, in fact, it's, it's 15. 15 centimetres wide. Um, and it's. Uh, 22, nearly 23 in depth from top to bottom. So I want to put one of these inspection things in that I bought. Just so you can clean the damn thing out with the hose pipe, you know. I mean after after a few months you're gonna to want to give it a good clean because it'd probably get scummed up inside and all sorts. I mean using shampoos and shower gels and washing up liquid and yeah, it's gonna get dirty in it. So um so that a centimetre, sorry, the uh, the diameter diameter of that is uh, 11, 11 centimetres. So obviously you put that in there and draw around, you only get ten. So I needed something bigger. So I just I've managed to find a little ball in the cupboard. To be honest, that little brown ball there is exactly the same size as I wanted it. So I used that to draw around. So. <laughs> You just have to be a bit resourceful when you're van building, don't you? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to jigsaw this out. Um, hopefully get this in. Put some self-tappers through. Silicone it all in. And then we can screw this on. And I've got an inspection cover. Um, yeah. And I'll put it to one side because if I put it in the middle, I might not be able to get my arm right in there to that bottom corner to, to sort that um, to sort that grey thing out so that's why it's a bit offset and bear that in mind I also thought that I might not be able to get my, my arm through this bit where it goes I don't know why it does this why it goes in like that it might be just the mould that it's made from but um, you know if it didn't have that probably hold another half got another litre or so but anyway um, yeah, I thought if I put that in the middle, I might not be able to get my arm through here, where it goes in. So I've put it there, so at least I know I can from there. I can get to that, because I need to screw the other part in onto that from inside. So there you go. Um, I'll show you under the van where I've been, because um, I've had to make quite a big adjustment to the van. In fact, I'll take it out now. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Like I say, with hindsight, I think I would have gone for um, a tank in a different place. There's a strange buzzing sound, whistling sound going on today. I don't know what's going on. Right, so I don't know if you can see because it's dead sunny. Um, pull the door to a bit. Right, I've had to put a new floor piece down. Exactly the same as the one I took up, except. Extending a little bit there, and I've done away with. Um, there was a little sticky out bit. You'll probably see it in, in earlier videos, but I had to do that because of the way that this tank fits in. The only way I could do it was to get some hook bolts. So there's one at this side, one a little bit further up under there, and then on the opposite side on the main structure to the van. It's so difficult to get this tank in because this space, like I said, the tank was 15, wasn't it? I think this is only the gap where the tank is going is, I think, just under 17. 
so it's very very tight extremely tight but I have managed to get it in I, I retrofitted it yesterday um, and I'm obviously now gonna I'm gonna put some uh, wood here with some lights in and it'll cover up these um, but I didn't know what I was going to do with this step anyway so that's kind of sort of made my mind up for me of that so right I'll, uh, I'll try and get you on the gorilla pod that's the gap where this is going that's the front of the van obviously diesel tanks there and that's the gap that you've got to put in there and that gap is only 17 centimeters so it's well tight Oh, I don't know if I can. And that's the other, the other end there. So that hole that you can see is nearly 40 millimeters. So I should be able to get some um, pipe through there and directly into the uh, into the tank. That's what I'm hoping anyway. But I will do. I'll make it fit. But yeah. So that's what I was doing yesterday, playing around with all this. So you can see that those holes there in the um, gun structure already there these others I've had to drill in the in the side step and that's why I decided to change the, um, the step bit yeah pain pain in the butt thought the gas tank was bad enough but this is proving even worse but anyway I think I've sussed it now um, I'm going to cut that hole in the uh, in the cat tank now, in the, in the waste tank, and then we'll uh, let it go off overnight. And then tomorrow, we'll put it in its new home. In here. Sorry, upside down, sideways, and everything. It's just hard filming. Not a bad day today, actually. Yeah, it's uh, proving to be a bit of a bugger. No doubt I'm going to come up against more problems, but yeah, this one was uh, one that's been bugging me for ages. I thought, you know what, I just need to get this waste tank done. But I think I've sorted it now. So I'm going to go cut that hole in the... I might put you on time lapse and we'll cut that out and see how that goes. Ooh, what I'm checking there is the, um, the depth of the saw blade. It comes into this dam. Am I going to be able to get my arm through there? Let's check the. Uh, I'm going to do something really stupid here. <coughs> It's not every day you measure your wrist. Eight. Um, nine. Back for that. Five and a half. Might just get my arm in there. Oh, I have to cut the rest out with a. I might be able to do it with a little fine saw. I want it there. I have to be careful of that though. Oh, right. Drill. Thank you. Right. 
file myself. So we've got this, it needs to go on this grey bit. Remember I've got the tank upside down here. I nearly cut it the wrong way. Being the monkey that I am. So we might get this on from the inside. to where I purchased these items from in, in this video or in another video. Um, yeah, happy with that. Right, stick on time. Convert a 30 by 35 litre cap tank into a proper waste tank. Four o'clock. It'll help her be on short that she's off tomorrow. So we're going for a drive in the van. Providing it starts. Um, no, I'm not going to do anything else now. Today. Get up in the morning, put that tank on if it's fine. Yeah, and that'll do. So, this is an electric solenoid valve. When I bought this yesterday, a little helper called me lazy. <clears throat> but I think this is cool. I'm going to attach this to the uh, to the waste outlet because we only have a 45, uh, sorry, a 35 litre waste tank. So let's see uh, my little testing thing here. So watch this, it's well cool. So connect these up. It just has a positive and a negative wire, and it's a return valve, so which I prefer than a like a switch where you have to actually switch it to close it. Right, so I've connected them wires up now. Just have a work on this to let it pop in. I'll do my best. Um. Right. Morning. Morning. <laughs> it's going to work in a minute. So watch this. 12 volt. How cool is that? So I've got a wire already fitted. So I'm going to put that on the waste tank. So you press a button, valve opens, the water empties, and then when you switch it off, and that's on 12 volts by the way, and I think it only pulls about half an amp or something. Let's just switch it off. And then The valve closes. And what did you call me? Lazy. Lazy. She did. She called me Lazy. We'll just see how many amps that pulls again. 0 0.04 of an amp to open it. Nothing. Switch it off. That's at 12 volts. You have to wait for the uh, voltage to drop. As soon as you do that, it 
closes. So I think that's well cool and that's going on the waste tank if I can get it on today. Got my heat shrink done. Are they ready? Oh! Right. Oh. So, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if the light's good enough. So I bought those brass fittings that's now connected to the waste tank um, tidied up with um, cable ties it's pretty solid anyway and the tap's just pointing slightly downwards towards this this way um, it should make things, I know it's a lazy thing to do but it's just a gimmick but um, I, quite, I thought it was quite a good idea this is still calling me lazy. So, there you go. So what I'm going to do is... As you can see, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to connect these. I have to, uh, excuse me, they'll shake a bit. I've got an essential tremor in my right hand. You want to see me when I'm eating soup? I'm going to throw it all over myself. They're brilliant, these things, these heat shrink connections. I can't put any flaming water in the tank yet to try it, but I can see if the valve is opening and closing. This is actually wired up to the cab. That looks like that could be delivery or something. <coughs> Might be my mate from Amazon. Yep, my Amazon mate. He's great, he is. He's an Asian guy and he's, he's just so friendly. I think that's uh, got it. Um, there we go. All snugly tucked away. Right. Yep. It's working. 